dead, six people critically injured after two SUVs collided early this morning on the southwest side. Archer Heights residents say there are frequently accidents on that stretch of South Pulaski where it happened. Judy Wang reports. Five hours after the crash, tow truck operators began removing the mangled wreckage. Ruben Lamelli looked on. You see cars just racing up and down in the middle of the night. 3, 4 in the morning. While police try to determine what caused this, which driver was to blame, Lamelli says, unfortunately, he's not surprised. Doing uh, donuts in the parking lot of Target. Even here, you, you might see some of the uh, the tracks in the middle of the, the corners. Uh, it's, it's, it gets out of hand. The crash involving two black SUVs happened at about 2.45 Sunday morning when firefighters got to South Pulaski and Ann Lurie Place they found one victim trapped in one of the vehicles. We saw a woman laying down. Um, she didn't have a sheet over her, so we're thinking she was alive, but she wasn't really moving. Um, and then we saw about three or four other people sitting upright, but they were moved by stretchers. Police say a man was pronounced dead on scene. Paramedics took three men and three women who were critically injured to various hospitals. Residents say there have been multiple crashes on this stretch of Pulaski in recent years. The alder woman for this area says there were 25 serious crashes, two of them fatal, from 2018 to 2019, according to CDOT data. Last week, a woman was killed in a hit and run on Pulaski about a block from here. Police continue searching for the white pickup truck, which ran a red light and hit the 68 year old woman who was walking across Pulaski. Residents of this southwest side neighborhood say it seems every weekend there's another incident. I think this is yeah pretty extreme, but it's very unfortunate. Um, I live on Pulaski just a little further south and there's a lot of accidents down Pulaski. Um, so it's, re it's really sad to see that, you know, this continues to happen. So something does need to be to be done about it. What? I don't know. But right. some, you know, they need to step it up. In Archer Heights, Judy Wang, WGN News.